Hufflepuff sucks. <laughs>
just have so much trust in so many people. The Bali Sports Club is a binary all-girl team from Mumbai. Oh yeah! They are the only team who have been invited to New York City for an athletic showcase. Asma, you have a perfect shape. Why this one here? Yeah, I've never heard. You've never heard about this? No. Yeah, me too. Never. Nothing. So, good for you. Too much beef. The folks on the bottom, man. The one underlying factor that unites all the Govinda Pathaks from across the city is the strength of unity. I guess so, the, the colors. Each team represents a distinct neighborhood. These teams usually attract like-minded people and form strong bonds. Yeah, the level of trust you'd have in each other. Is that the end, I think? Because the sound stopped? Was there a copyright? Uh, maybe. That was weird. The pyramid's base and the first two levels must comprise of mentally and physically fit athletes. Being of a calm and stable mind is an important asset a player must develop to excel at this sport. Each year, preparation begins around three months prior to the main event. During this time, communication among team members is very important. <laughs> <laughs> must, be, must be really amazing to see live. In 2015, the Maharashtra government declared Dahi Handi an adventure sport. Exactly one year later, in August 2016, they imposed a new set of rules, which includes an 18-year-old age minimum and a 20-feet height restriction. Pyramids occasionally collapse. Oh, goodness And with gracious. younger children on top and no cushioning on the ground, oh, my these stars. rules were put in place to curb injuries that arise from such accidents. Ah! Oh, wow. Do all those people catch him? I think that's what they're all standing around that close for, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
it is important that the sports committee takes care of its athletes. For instance, in a country like Spain, human pyramids are formed as a part of festive celebration throughout the year. They are known as castells, and the sport is supported by the local government. In 2010, no UNESCO declared this to be among the masterpieces of oral and intangible heritage of humanity. Over the past few years, teams of Spanish castellers have traveled to Mumbai and exchanged techniques and stories with the athletes here. It talks in the two cultures different, doing the same and are so fun. But I think that it's so beautiful. Different teams in Catalonia, if you do human towers, it's like a family, all the people from the different teams. And when we think about the winners, it's similar, it's human towers too. It feels like the same feeling that, ah, we are the same. Yeah. has been a learning experience for athletes on both the sides. It has pushed them to test their strength and set larger goals to accomplish. In the recent what they past, this sport has seen not yogurt. Well, it's not the yogurt we're life. accustomed to. Uh, it's the picture of the kind of yogurt that, television that, is, that, is, that is has been met with a lot of cheer. Familiar to them, but not familiar to us. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like yogurt. The recognition that, that comes way too late. <laughs> that they are the athlete has had a different yeah, way make a name well, for themselves liquidy. in society. Many athletes have benefited in life by way of this sport. I just had a very handy name, Mala, Major Cook Kali, Yah, Jajani Mala Cook Kali. Then you know, so that I was in Cook World, a Pacare World. As a probably player, Mono, me or a famous man, but actually, Jajan going up at Kazak, there Mono Cook famous, and Jikere Tikere, Mala Major Coaching Law, where I saw Bolvai, who publicity me and Italian. This sport has now reached a much wider audience than before. However, there is a strong belief within the community that in order to scale greater heights, the skill must be taught to children in school. In school? Oh, sure, they must learn younger. The younger, the younger you learn it, by the time you would be 18 to do it, you'd have experience that you probably need. Guarantee you can't just climb on top of people and make it can. The numbers get larger. Get Ashley and Alexi. The positions get bigger. And the pyramids no, get requested. Some We're going to build a pyramid! <laughs> while others choose this day to showcase their skill. In this religious and cultural frenzy, everyone has one shared aim. To build the tallest pyramid. And find the best view of the city. I think the Egyptians won. 50, nearly 50 feet high is staggering. That's really, really, really high. It's almost as tall as... Mother? That's a five-story building. That's high, man. On just standing on other human beings. See, the part for me that would be the hard, not the, not really the height. I can deal with height. Height is not a really an issue for me. It's the feet, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's the feet and trusting other people below me. Did we ever do the fall exercise for the trust exercise in theater? Oh, I can do that, because that's not really a far... Like, if I fall on the ground, I'm like, all right, whatever, I fell on the ground, it's not that far. Okay, that's true, I only had you guys stand on the table. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, that I can do, that's not really an issue. But, like, you're pretty high up, and true. you trust somebody. So really, same, same reason I, I have a, a problem with skydiving. <coughs> because I have to, one, trust something to go off. Ah, and then also another person. Right. To that. Right. So that's the issue. It's not really the height that scares me. Interesting. It's the fact that I have to trust somebody else to perform their tasks. Right. And I don't know them. And, and, that, and your safety and well-being is dependent upon someone else yes. taking care of a task that yes. you would prefer you were taking care of yourself. Yeah. 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 And uh, feet. Yeah, I, I don't like the feet being that close yeah, to my face. Yeah, Alexis would feel the same way, in case you didn't know that about Alexis. Alexis does not like Something feet. against your feet. Well, it is. They're it disgusting. Is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nothing against your feet, but he doesn't want your feet against him. That's true. <laughs> but that's cool. I mean, I had no idea this was even a thing. I didn't either. I mean, now, I, I, India has a thousand festivals. Of course. But I didn't know this was this activity was part of it. And I also don't know in the realm of when you said that like the most dangerous... Uh, Ritual kind of thing, or I guess I guess it falls festival. under the festival for sure. The most dangerous I, festival. The most dangerous 
like sporting event I've ever seen that I know of is I don't know if it's Scotland or Ireland that does it where they're running down the hill. Oh yeah, yeah. And the log is and they're riding the logs as the yeah. logs go down the hill. Yeah. And people are getting run over by these giant yeah, it's a tree trunks. It's not really a festival. It's just a sport. Yeah. yeah. You know, so this is by far the I festival. Think, I think like a festival wise. It's very interesting. Uh, very interesting. Look at I, that. You learned something new. You're not getting so stupid over here. Well, they didn't learn anything. Oh yeah, that's us. We're learning. Unless they're they're like American. Now we're less stupider. Um, but I'm sure they know about this obviously yeah. um but yeah that was cool let us know like if there's other festivals coming up please let us know in advance because i there's like i said there's a thousand uh and we can kind of keep track of like the big ones durga puja and um, and i think we should gather a bunch of people here and do this just so you can climb to the top and have to deal with people's feet mm -hmm. i don't have to deal with their feet they have to deal with my feet that's true so you'd rather go to the top than be on the bottom yeah oh yeah <laughs>